In this video, I'll be telling you how exactly you can give the access to someone so that they can manage your channel. Now to do this, log into your YouTube channel and uh, on the right side top corner, you see your channel icon. So just click on that. Then go to YouTube studio. This is the first step. Now second step is come to settings at the bottom. You have permissions here. Just click on permissions. Now if you see here, it says permissions for Sri Ram Benur. Now this is where you can invite somebody to manage your channel or give the viewer access and things like that. So just click on invite and uh, you will see as uh, email section here, just enter their email ID and then uh, select the access level. I will quickly tell what are these access levels. So manager is something who has the most of the access to your channel. right? So they can view everything, they can manage permissions. In fact, they can add someone else also to your channel, right? So be very cautious when you're giving the manager access to someone because they can give access to someone else as well, okay? So again, they can go live, they can create, edit, upload, delete, they can do everything, okay? So again, be very, very cautious when you're giving the manager access. So let's understand when you should be giving the manager access. Now say for example, you have many people in your team and uh, there is a person who is going to upload a video. There is someone else who is going to do the SEO and maybe a person for adding the subtitles and there is a person who is going to do the research of your content. Now when you have multiple people and you don't want to do everything by yourself to give the access. In these kind of scenarios, you can have manager access to one person who can give or manage access to other people as well. Now next is you have editor. Now who can do everything, they can go live, they can create, edit videos, they can manage your channel. But the only thing is, they do not have the permissions to add new members to your channel. Okay, So it's always recommended that if you want somebody to manage your channel, give them the editor access, not the manager access. Okay, And again, uh, editor limited. So they have the same access of editor, but the only thing is, they cannot see the revenue details. Now say for example, you start earning money from YouTube and you don't want to reveal your earning to the editor, right? Who is uploading the videos to your channel. In that case, give the editor access, they can still do everything. They can edit the videos uh, and upload to your channel, right? So they can put the thumbnail, they can write a description, they can do everything and manage your channel, right? The only thing is they can't see the revenue. Again, uh, there is one more uh, role that is there, which is called a subtitle editor. If you want somebody to only edit the subtitles, in that case, you can give this permission. Next is viewer. Now say for example, uh, you want somebody to just have a look at your channel. Maybe uh, you want to take some expert inputs from them or something, right? So in that case, you can give the viewer access so that they can view your channel, right? They can see everything including the revenue as well. So that's viewer access. They can view everything. They can't create, edit or delete anything. But they can view everything including the revenue as well. Now viewer limited is something, they are the same permissions like viewer, but they cannot see the revenue, right? So these are all the different permissions. So this is how you give the simple permissions. You can just select and just click on done. Once you click on done, they're going to get the email. Let me show you how uh, that looks. So once you give the permission, so this is how they will get an email, invitation to access the channel, right? And again, it says uh, you have been invited to access this particular channel, accept invitation. Only when they accept the invitation, they will be able to access your channel. Okay. So they have to click on this accept invitation and only then they can see the channel. Now say for example, you have your channel as a brand account. In that case, you might end up seeing something like this when you click on permissions on the left. Right. So in that case, uh, all you need to do is at the bottom, it says move permissions to YouTube studio. So just click on move permissions. And once you do that, you'll be able to find the same interface to give the access to someone else. Thanks for watching. If you like this information, then please do give a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already done. And again, if you have any questions related to this, just comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer. And if you want to grow your channel, then just click on this end screen to watch more videos on how you can scale it up faster on YouTube. See you in the next video. I'm Shri Rambe Noor.